morning Andrew it's probably afternoon or evening with yourself so here's Chris's car um, N554 YUX the Chimera 400 so I'll, I'll just give you a quick walk around he hasn't cleaned it this is the way it sits day to day in the garage covered like you've seen in the other pictures um, it's not a terrific day of the day but at least it's dry so that's a good thing I'll go around I'll point out any little defects or whatever as we're going around but you can see it's a, it's a decent straight car it's a cracking color and as I said these are so flashy that you don't want to get caught up with something that maybe looks a million dollars in a very bright color but other than looking Larry it's uh, not signed which is where you want but you've been well enough first with even the questions you were asking me in terms of answering those um, Chris has uh, confirmed to me that it's the original outriggers that are in the car and they've never been repaired or replaced they've not needed it um, and the sell them we will I'll get you a video now go down as low as I can but he's also going to try and get it onto a two post lift uh, possibly in the next couple of weeks so anyway I'll stop jabbering we'll go around front wheel Toyo tire excellent tread you can see the disc very very clean the pad I would say approximately three quarters of meat to the left on that front wing There, but that'll clean off. Okay. Driver's door. Get very clean. A few minor stone chips as you would expect just along the leading edge. Tiny little bit of lacquer peel here. Um, the weather strip. It's a little bit warm. It's doing its job obviously still. But it's a little bit warm. Rear quarter, again, wheel very clean. Tire, another Toyo proxy, um, they're T1Rs. They're excellent, I mean, they've done no mileage at all, I would say. Brake disc, it would clean up. Again, it's just from not being used. And the brake pad, I would say that's about, just about a third of meat left in that. Sorry, I can't get right in to get it. I don't know if you can see. Rear arch, little stone chip that's been touched in there. In the back, there's a little mark there, but that's dirt. That'll just clean off. Rear panel. Tiny little scuff. I mean, it may be being a bit over the top, but you're, you're a long way away, so I want to try and cover all the bases little mark here in the paint this sort of thing here I mean that'll polish out that's very fine the rear deck and the boot I mean the car is in beautiful condition for the age the little tiny marks that I'm pointing out are very very minor and there I wouldn't do it for anybody else it's literally only that you're so far away few little chips here from loading the rear screen was replaced um, October September October last year rear light units in good condition there's no misting or fogging in them let's see there's a little get the boot open in a second a little chip there and the exhaust pipes as well, it's very clean. Okay, side, that's dirt. Tiny scratch, very fine, polish out. Back wheel, another Toyo. Disc very similar to the other side. Wheel very good. And the pad. In similar sort of way, there's about a third of meat left in that. Passenger door. You, 
you can see the paint is very good. I mean, there's no silly defects to show bad repairs. I mean, you can see my beautiful legs in the in the uh, in the video, and I, I should look pretty good in that. They're not waving left and right like a, a funny mirror. Weather strip's very good here. Again, a little scratch. Wing mirrors, very good also. And the front wing. Another Toyo, disc like new. And the pads again, three quarters meat still in them. And the front arch is very, very good. Front end. There's some flies. <laughs> some enthusiastic driving the last time. But it's all good, you can see that'll all clean off. Paint's in excellent condition for the age again. A couple of little stone chips. Oh, no, that's not even a stone chip. So there you go. A couple of minor ones there. But literally very, very minor. I mean you would expect to find these peppered for the age and the mileage. So this is an excellent example. And the front glass. A couple of tiny chips. Again, unfortunately being so low, things like this are bound to happen. One there, none on the driver's line. And then the roof panel. Little tiny bit of wear there. Nothing. I mean, it's solid and it's dry. Okay, the interior, you can see it's a car that's enjoyed, which is what you want. You don't want something that's sitting around and not getting any use at all. The leather's in very good condition here. Again, a few little marks, but very, very good. It wore well. Pioneer CD system. 67039 minus. And that's the, you can see there is a roll cage here in the back, a half roll cage that would be deemed. So it's not that the car has been tracked. But um, it was being put in for security for the previous owner. Just felt more secure having it. So it's removable. I believe it's bolted in. I'll have to confirm that. Maybe welded in, but I will confirm if it's been bolted in. And as I said, you're seeing the car raw now. It's not, you can see how good it is. It hasn't been tarted up for seeing for these pictures. This is a, a beautiful car that's being used. Which I presume is why you want one over there as well, as people they enjoy it. Cut off switch. It's all very, very good. That's the doors. That's the popper for that. Okay, the heart of the beast. It all looks very correct. I mean, I won't pretend to come from any sort of mechanical aspect, but it's all very correct, which is what you want. The original ID plate. Pop that in there. Got twenty seconds. This is an isolator. 
Yeah. So it pump. Doing the talking for me. Okay, Andrew. The front outriggers. Now they've wax oil on them because they've been protected. But you can see if I can stretch my arm in there. It's fine, Chris. It's clean and bright enough. And you see the silt swirling around. You see the underseal and that on it as well, the lower end. So that's all it's supposed to be. It's actually coming out not bad. Yeah, it's coming out not bad even as it is, Chris. Thank yeah. you. Again, you can see there, all good. I mean, we're in a UK car, so it should be expected that there'd be minor corrosion, which is surface, it's, it's solid. See, the camera's doing its job, good. There we go. Then we'll do the bottom of the cell. Sorry, that clicked off of me there. See the rear exhaust pipes. Do a little different. It's all dry. You can see, so that's all good. Oh, pretty easy. <sighs> right. Sorry for the backwards and forwards, but such is the way. See the cell all the way down.
Thank you. So solid. I mean, you wouldn't be seeing any of these marks here. This is dirt. And detritus just from it being part. Used in part, should I say. So you wouldn't be seeing that in a car necessarily. That's all being prepared. But you wouldn't be also seeing the reality of a car, which is what you want. You don't want a car that's been tarted up for you, as I said. And hiding a multitude of problems that, let's face it, I actually have friends that have imported some cars over from America. Told one story and arrived with another. And there's not much you can do about it at that stage unless you have a willing seller. So you do want to know this all now. And it's all good. There's no stories. You can see yourself. It's all straight. There's no damage. Other than normal wear and tear and use, as you would expect for a car from, what, 96? So. Oh, good. And what I'll do is, I'll just go around the front. Underneath. So you're seeing that too. It's a plastic tray. And I mean, there's no oil leaks or drips from the sump, as you can see, so it's all good. 